Year's Eve on the platform of Bangalore Station. Cantonment Station, Bangalore, yeah, yeah. powered by solar yeah. panels. Mm -hmm. And um, today we went to hear from a man who has a company called Selco. Yeah. And uh, Selco install solar technology in rural areas. Yeah. Um, I want to ask you if you feel that India is really embracing solar technology. Yeah, I mean, we do have the advantage of having sun uh, around, the, around the year. So even if it's, the, for example, it's winter time now for most of the country, um, and places in the north uh, get as cold as uh, minus two, minus three. Uh, I mean, just Kashmir is different, but places like Delhi also get cold as minus two, minus three, and we'll see that. So even then, you get that sunlight for four to five hours a day. Yeah. So that that's not a problem. So it's not like certain European countries wherein there's no sunlight for a few months. So you always get that lead time to charge those cells and that charging is enough when it's being used for red light because it's not being consumed in that you know the quantity of consumption but you can't expect that in uh, uh, urban houses with the kind of equipment and technology that's in yes you can use it in solar in a few solar houses as the guy suggested from Selco that's because these guys just need three to four hours of electricity a day one and all they're using is just one tube light and one fan. Lights, yeah. Fans. One yeah. fan, one tube light, and that's about it. They don't have technologies like geysers and laptops and mobiles and all that. So it it won't make sense to use them in the urban areas. Then we're not that advanced in technology to yes. use it in urban areas. And the solar is good for the rural areas because it provides reliable local energy. True. Plus, easy to maintain, cheaper. And it's just like a one-off installation wherein you just come back to it in 10 years. Yeah. So, makes much more sense. Nicole! 